Well, hello everyone. Welcome back, guys. Hope you all are doing well. This is Muhammad Badrud Dujab back again with lab number five from XSS, or you can say cross-site scripting vulnerability module. That's been said. If you did not subscribe the channel, please subscribe the channel and hit the like button if you like the content. Here you can see there is a submit feedback page. So I'm going to submit my name as cybersec. Email is going to be radar at cyber dot sec subject anything message anything okay so submit feedback let's see if there is anything uh, rendered here what you write in the submit feedback form but nothing is rendered in this page whatever we submitted in the feedback form okay so second thing uh, we can see there is there is one url here and within this url there is a parameter return path and it's returning us to slash uh, that means it is going to take us to the root directory of this web application so if i click on back button let's see where it redirects us and it is taking us to the home page fine back to the submit feedback and this time i'm going to right click so i'm going to inspect and then click here and wherever you click in this HTML page, it is going to take you on that part. So once I click, it takes us to the button with saying class is equal to button type is submit. And if we um, expand that, you can see submit feedback. So as you can see here, there is one href, there is an anchor tag and within this anchor tag, there is href and within this href, there is slash, which is this one right and there is also one script tag if i open this script tag there is a script for the backlink i will see that and describe that in a minute but before this i would like to test this parameter value so if i write here something let's say cybersec radar and if i hit enter let's see what happened i'm going to search the same thing cybersec radar hit enter and as you can see within this anchor tag okay there is href and within this attribute href attribute you can see whatever you type here but you need to see first of all what this function is doing okay so this function it's creating one function then it's using this dollar sign and this dollar sign basically used for the jquery okay and it's creating one function backlink and this backlink is using attribute href and taking the value of this href from url search parameter which is going to take the value from the parameter search parameter so this is the parameter and its value is going to be cybersec radar and then within windows.location.search this is your source and get the value of return path so what we can do within this href we can execute the script i'm going to just take this out and java script then let's say alert and within alert i can say cybersec radar any string okay so within the href within the href you cannot use actually the script tag and the image tag that's why here i'm using java script directly so within the href you can execute java script directly and call any method or function like alert you can test it by just writing so i'm going to just show you once i'm going to paste it here but let's see i am going to try any tag so I'm going to put this double quotes, then greater than sign. And let's just, sorry, use image tag. So image, then source is equal to, let's say 111. And I'm going to say on error is equal to alert. And within alert, I'm calling one. So if I execute this, okay. And fine. Now I'm going back here, go to the submit, 
let's search 111 hit enter you can see here we have so our value is in the href attribute within the a tag but the thing is it is taken as the string so let's see back again here in the javascript and i'm going to execute this one within the href so instead of that let's execute javascript okay it's done now the lab is asking us to go to the backlink so lab is as you can see the lab is solved but to check whether the alert function working fine or not you need to go back so once you go back you can see cybersec radar is rendered here within the pop-up okay but the lab also asked us to extract the cookie which is within the um, document dot cookie okay so hit again enter and go back so once we go back the pop-up is there but there is no cookie value because it's not in the document so what you can do i just want to show you here suppose suppose because this function what we are performing does not require us to be authenticated or a user must be authenticated for accessing this submit feedback feature but in case to submit the feedback a user must be logged in within the application and once a user log in so user get a specific cookie so suppose that there is a cookie i'm adding the cookie and let's say my name is let's say carlos okay this is the value of the cookie fine now once you have the session cookie at that instant if you execute the same thing okay and just go back and this time you can see you get the cookie uh, once a specific cookie is assigned to a user authenticated feature or maybe there could be more than one cookie values so you can extract the cookie like this you can take this further more and you can add few more steps to send this cookie to the attacker so this kind of attacks are very very severe here because if the cookie has been extracted and send it to the attacker controlled server at that instant attacker can take your session id and directly log in within your session as you without knowing the username and password fine so that's it for this lab hope you understand that and i'm going to see you in the next lab bye